because <sighs> the Islamic religion never developed logic. They never developed logic. Price <laughs> subject to verification. I jacked off to Mr. Feeney. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. That's oh, why I yeah. talk like this. That's why I talk like this. I jacked off to Mr. Feeney. My I didn't have, a, I didn't have a choice. Tits. My sister's tits were so big that I had to jack off to Mr. Feeney. <laughs> 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 I, was so, I, was so, I needed something to jack off to, and my sister walked by, and I saw her big tits, and it made me feel sick. So I went to my room, and I put on The Graduate. A very good movie. A very good movie about Judeo-Christian values. <laughs> and I picked the least sexy scene in the movie, the part where you can see Mr. Feeney's feet. And I jacked... <laughs> <laughs> and I jacked off to that. I jacked off to that. I jacked off to that. Over and it's over. It's a Nissan sales event. <laughs> it's the Nissan sales event brought to you by Ben Shapiro. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, dude. I bet you. I mean, we, we all wanted to fuck Topanga, though, right? Mm. What, what race was she? Coconut? I think she was just a white girl with... Be yeah, rich. hippie parents. But they gave her name was supposed to be like what, like a like ethnically huge tits. Yeah. That's right. Her race is race is fat titties. <laughs> Take me there, dude. I yeah. want to. I want to fucking get uh, shipwrecked and yeah, wash up my, on the Topanga. My Island. daughter Topanga B- Bazonga. <laughs> Bazonga. Topanga coconut. Bazonga tigos. <laughs> What's she up to these days? I've I've tracked down. I think they tried to reboot it. Maybe. They did. With he was like, oh and fuck, I don't have my, I don't have my phone. I'm just gonna be a professional. Put it in the other room. They fucked my ass. They fucked my ass. I don't have my phone either. My favorite pressure. show is Boy Meets World, and I want a trip <laughs> to go all the way to the set. And Mr. Feeney fucked me in my ass. <laughs> 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 oh, you I must never told be it. a big fan. <laughs> That's a cute Why little hat you're wearing there, Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> it's called a yarmulke. It's called a yarmulke, is it? Why don't you come into my trailer and you can tell me more about the yarmulke? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. That, that sounds great. I get to meet Mr. Feeney. <laughs> Mr. Feeney, I'm a big fan of your feet. <laughs> <laughs> he's already getting hard as he's, going, as he's walking into the trailer. I don't understand what's happening. Why, why, why is my penis getting hard? Now, I hope you don't my mind if I, I pull down your suit. <laughs> I unbutton your, the no. suit you wore here for some reason. <laughs> Put down your briefcase. You, you won the Meet Mr. Feeney contest, and so you wore a suit you and a yarmulke. You wore a suit and a yarmulke and brought a roller <laughs> backpack for yeah. some reason. <laughs> you have a... Briefcase with wheels on it. <laughs> like you're at an airport. It doesn't make any sense. It's some, like somebody said, you know what's gay? A briefcase. How can we make it a little bit gayer? How can we make a briefcase gayer, Mr. Shapiro? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> yeah, and then he held good. me down and he fucked me in the ass. And then he held me down and he fucked me in my mouth. <laughs> 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 and then, and then oh, I became obsessed yeah. with Judeo Christian values. Very good, Mr. Yeah. Shapiro. <laughs> yeah. Just like that, Mr. Shapiro. Oh, you're the best you I've ever getting had. Getting skull fucked by Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> That's how you do it, Mr. Shapiro. His head hanging back off, yeah. like Ooh. upside down off a of bed. Throw that neck back for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the neck, Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> Give it to me upside down. Down Spider Man style, <laughs> Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> Very good. Very good, Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> uh-huh. And then he spit on my balls. And he put my balls in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Real quick, uh, <laughs> one more thing, Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> There's one thing I'd like to do before you leave. It would be a shame to waste such a trip. <laughs> you won the contest. I'm going to put your little baby balls in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I remember it hurting. It hurt. It hurt. Even though my balls were small. That's Getting fucked in my ass wasn't as painful as having my nuts squeezed into Mr. Feeney's ass, which he somehow was able to flex and crush my nuts. <laughs> And that's, that's why, why I talk like that. That's, that's why. This why cords and I was never able to hit complete people. <laughs> I'm because not a castrato. My, because my nuts were crushed. And Mr. Feeney's <laughs> <laughs> I talk what? like this because Mr. Feeney crushed my nuts after, when I was 11. After a, uh, winning a contest, it wasn't a contest. I would just write in to correct the things on the show. 
<laughs> they, they called me the tidbit boy in the writer's room. <laughs> the logical fallacy. Because I would, I, would, I would pay attention to what homework was assigned in the show <laughs> to Corey and then do the fictional homework myself and send it in to be graded by the writers <laughs> for extra credit and demanded that they write to my, my teacher at Jewish School of <laughs> Judaism in Israel. <laughs> the Golda the Meyer Beth, Jewish School the of Beth Israel. Israel School of Jewish every Israel School, <laughs> <laughs> which receives uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, fifty million dollars a year from the public school system, <laughs> redirected from the public from school the public system. school system, so that black kids can have lunch, <laughs> so, so that we can have extra computers. <laughs> uh, this, anyway, that's why I talk like yeah. this. The school for extraordinary Jewish boys. <laughs> we God scored. Man. Oh my God, we scored. Nice. Adam's watching. I'm watching Arsenal, Arsenal Liverpool. Liverpool. So the one day he puts his phone away, he's I got watching a full match on. A soccer match. Listen, I can't believe it. Okay. There are two types of logic. <laughs> it's Yom Kippur. There's Yom Kippur logic. <laughs> And then <laughs> I didn't have anything for that one. I was trying to, the, where I wanted to end up is making a, Ben Shapiro making a declarative statement about what Mr. Feeney's penis tastes like <laughs> and then defending it by saying you can make a reasonable assumption as to what Mr. Feeney's penis tastes like without actually having to have sucked Mr. Feeney's penis. <laughs> it doesn't prove anything just because I went into a fugue state and described Mr. Feeney's penis in detail. <laughs> The fact that I knew that it tasted like enoki mushrooms. Using, using Judeo-Christian logic, <laughs> it is entirely possible to create a, a, a an argument through reason mm -hmm. to describe exactly what Mr. Feeney's <laughs> penis tastes, looks, and smells like. You didn't have any first-hand experience. I brought on a toddler to debate me about it. <laughs> You're <Yeah. not> gay. <laughs> yeah. You suck Mr. Feeney's penis. Not. This interview is over. <laughs> Maybe if you actually read my book, you would know. That he just made me put my balls in his ass. <laughs> you said you got skull fucked by him. <laughs> <laughs> that was that part was retracted in a later edition of the book. It miss me, miss me with that gay shit. That was an editorial error, which any author has afforded at least fifteen mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> it was an editorial error that I put in three whole chapters. Four, describing four and a half chapters describing getting fucked in the mouth by Mr. Feeney <laughs> and describing his penis in detail was. What is commonly known as a typo. Maybe you've heard of it. If not, I'd be happy to direct you to the Wikipedia page for typos. <laughs> ben Shapiro destroys baby that says he got raped by Mr. Feeney. <laughs> you got raped by Mr. Feeney. It's not rape, it was consensual, and it didn't even happen. <laughs> Mr. Feeney fucked your ass. I put my balls in his ass, which is a Judeo-Christian tradition. <laughs> It's a Judeo-Christian, it's a Judeo-Christian. Judeo it sounds like he turned out your boy Pusty. <laughs> I thought I was going to meet Topanga. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know, I was going to get my balls put into I, Mr. Freeney's ass. I was planning, I was, 50, I was 17 years old, I was a young boy. <laughs> and I wrote into the show. A, new, a newborn 17 year old. I was fantasizing, I used to fantasize about holding hands with Topanga. <laughs> And what that would result in is the slightest amount of blood, an appropriate amount of blood, entering my penis, <laughs> which is not an erection, so it's not a sin. <laughs> I knew that I was never going to have an erection until I got married. <laughs> Are Jews not allowed to have premarital sex? Uh, I guess not. Who gives a shit? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> but instead of meeting Topanga, my balls were crushed. <laughs> By Mr. Feeney. In the principal's ass. Abnormally strong <laughs> asshole. Yeah. Much like Sandy Koufax, Mr. Feeney used to be an asshole pitcher. Mm. <laughs> it's just Very another, good, Mr. Shapiro. Just another Bobby in the world. He's just a Bobby in the world. Just another Bobby in the world. Yeah, this is kind of what we had to it's do. Fun. This is kind of the uh, agreement we had to strike up with Mr. Feeney. The only way we could get him to not rape the kids on the cast is... To bring him a fresh boy every week. Yeah. With his balls in his ass. There's two. I have two demands on the show. <laughs> Obviously, uh, no one's watching this if it weren't for me. <laughs> I'm the star, <laughs> the baby. Point, oh, is, baby. That, is, that, is that the feet guy from The Graduate? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> is that that hot dad? That from guy the, with the f- sexy feet from The Graduate? There's not a single other movie I can think that he was in. <laughs> He's got or or even a TV show. Yeah. Boston Brahmin accent. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's the, uh, literally yeah. the only other reference I have for that actor. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I think he was in something when he was old. But something Daniels. What's his name? I don't know. I remember there was an actor strike and he was the head of SAG. He was like, <laughs> we are actors. He gave like a powerful speech. I bet he's been, been, Mr. Kind of shit he's been he in young. a million things. Yeah. Isn't he in The Odd Couple? I don't he's in know. shit. He's like the neighbor or something. He's great. He's a great actor. Too bad he's a pedophile. Yeah. Too bad he, too bad he consensually had sex with Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Seventeen-year-old Ben Shapiro probably looked nine at the time. Yeah. The two demands. My balls hurt. I would like it if you remove my balls from your ass. <laughs> at least kiss me if you're gonna fuck me. I brought my own non-disclosure agreement that I will sign. <laughs> <laughs> As part of my homework. <laughs> I like drafting contracts. <laughs> this week I did a non-disclosure agreement, coincidentally, about my own rape. <laughs> Call it serendipitous, but I already written up in detail how Mr. Feeney would put my balls in his ass, <laughs> and I did not tell anybody about it. See, you were asking for it, baby. <laughs> no, it's just the universe coming together. It's the stars aligning in beautiful symphony. <laughs> <laughs> Me getting raped by Mr. Feeney. I've written every. I, at a, I, I was considered a legal Vunderkind. <laughs> by age 11, I had written every contract ever. And there was only one left. One that demanded an 11 year old boy never tells anyone that Mr. Feeney made him put his balls in his ass. <laughs> the final contract. <laughs> and I wrote it up. No one had ever cracked it. And I was on my way to, to take it to the framing mm-hmm. store to get it. it was, I was going to put it up in my office. It was the last contract I ever wrote. <laughs> right next to the first dollar I ever had sex with. <laughs> my, uh, and I stopped by the set of Boy Meets World because I had won the, the letter to homework doing contest. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Feeney found my contract. <laughs> I read it over. And then he made me... My, my, this is quite the contract, uh, Mr. Shapiro. Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> I already found the contract. I signed it. You did, too. <laughs> now, by law, you have to let me squeeze your balls with my ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's here in plain black and white English. Just in a fucking Shapiro. cardigan with his ass out. That's not how. That's not how NDAs work. 